Hi everybody and welcome to a quick brain dissection. So you should have this material as per your orders earlier in the semester. Uh, what we're going to do is I will have a uh, Word file uploaded for you that you can go through and fill out certain questions that I ask that you have answers to. These will pertain to your final exam as well as I want you to do the dissection as I show you here. I would prefer that you have a little piece of paper that's got your name on it so I can tell that that's your work and not someone else's. And while you are doing this, follow along with me and I'm gonna take you through the major parts and pieces of this and explain them as we go. Now, these are preserved materials, so there is the potential for there to be some chemicals here that aren't necessarily ideal. So be careful, you'll note I'm wearing gloves. I've got my equipment all set up and ready for use. And the idea is not to get this on you if at all possible. And when you're done, uh, dispose of it in a manner that you're not going to be getting your hands in it later. All right, so here is the brain that I will be using. Now, it's, it's sort of dried out a little bit. It's been sitting around for a little while, just as yours probably have. But on this, I can see a few things that are of merit. On here, I can see this thick, almost uh, iridescent, this shiny membrane. Uh, this is indeed what's referred to commonly as the dura mater. Now, if you think back to our work on the brain, you know that there's dura mater, arachnoid mater, and pia mater. These are all involved in what is commonly referred to as your meninges. And if I pull up on this dura mater, again, dura mater, typically connected to the skull itself. If I pull up on this dura mater, you can see already like a little string there, some little connection points. As you get yours and you pull up and you look underneath that dura mater, you'll see some small string-like connection points. That is the arachnoid mater. So dura mater on the outside, arachnoid mater between the two, and then the pia mater itself is gonna be connected to the brain. It'll form a shiny lining, which you'll see once I get the dura mater off of the brain. Now, take your time when you're doing this. The goal is gonna to be to take the dura mater off the top and leave most of it on the bottom. Because when you take the dura mater off the bottom, we have to be incredibly careful so that we can leave the nerves in place. So on this, I can already see a lot of the major nerves that are important for the brain. Uh, what we have here, if I start at the top and kind of work my way down, you can see these bulbs. These would be olfactory bulbs, not unlike the olfactory bulbs on your brain. They would be laying down against uh, the cribriform plates of the skull and uh, having dendrites reaching down into your nasal cavity. So these are going to be the nerves that carry uh, the signal to your brain for scent. Behind this here, you had these two big nerves sticking out of the top of the brain. These are the optic nerves. So these would be going out to the eye. So the visual signals are gonna come in, they're gonna connect at these optic nerves. There's gonna be crossing over at this structure here referred to commonly as the optic chiasma. And then that signal is gonna travel through the brain into the rear of the brain here, uh, which is your occipital lobe. And then further, I can see big nerves here on the outside of the brain. Uh, olfactory optic, oculomotor, trochlear, trochlear nerves. These are trochlear nerves. These big trochlear nerves, uh, trigeminal nerves will be a little further back, and then the abducens will be sort of located in this area. All right, so that is the outside of the brain. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove the dura mater, and uh, we're going to see what we have underneath. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up on this dura mater. I'm just going to use my scalpel and give this a little cut. And then I'm going to come in using my scalpel. Now, this is incredibly sharp. I can't convey to you how sharp the scalpels are, so please be careful. I'm going to come through, cut this back, just very gently, just very gently cut this back. And again, I'm removing dura mater. I'm going from the top of the brain first, because the goal is going to be to unwrap it as we progress. So slowly removing dura mater. And you can come down all the way to the olfactory bulbs cut this away and then we will begin the unwrapping process. Now you have to be careful back in here especially uh, because this uh, dura mater you can feel this is almost skull material here it's going to go down deep in between the cerebrum and the cerebellum on this particular brain all right so it's, it's deep in there and it's going to take a little time to remove it and this brain is so dry it's going to be kind of fascinating getting in there regardless. Uh, I guess this is a side effect of what happens when it's been sitting around for a year and a half waiting for dissections from students. All right, so let's cut this back. 
and I'm letting the tool do most of the work. I'm trying to leave this intact here on the underside of the brain. I'm trying to leave that intact. I'm trying to remove it from the upper part. See what I'm doing here? All right. You can see I've not quite cut all the way down. There's still more work to be done. I am slowly trimming back that Dura Mater. Hear it? Now listen, listen. Can you hear the popping? Here, see those pieces? See here? That is arachnoid mater. That's part of that meninges. Look, there's a, almost a ligament holding this down. Fascinating. I've never seen that before. All right. Side effect of being very dry. All right. Now, I've sort of got the top of the brain opened up. I can pull this off of these olfactory bulbs here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this down and I have to cut the uh, dura mater away from these olfactory ner nerves because the dura mater is continuous with the tissue there and they can't be readily separated. So let's go in. And remove the dura mater from these nerves. Again, note how I use the scalpel. You're, it's important for you to learn about these parts and pieces, and, and it's important for you to see the brain and hold the tissue. It's important for you to learn how to use these tools as well. So take your time, use the tools effectively. Like for most of you, you're gonna be doing this again. So use your time wisely. Gently just letting the tool do the work all right i'm not forcing things i'm not sawing at it necessarily i'm just gliding the tool across the tissue and letting the sharpness of the scalpel do the work of removing this tissue all right that's pretty close you can sort of see what we're getting at here again this is all dura mater the arachnoid mater but be between the two and the pia mater would be a shiny covering on the outside of the brain like i can come in here and i can kind of dig around and poke and i can probably tease up there we go can you see this membrane i can almost support the brain look at that see no hands that is the pia mater this is a thin lining as part of your meninges that lines the actual brain itself Think about dura mater as being connected to the skull, arachnoid mater as being suspensatory between the two, and then we've got this pia mater connected to the brain itself. All right, let's see if we can just tease this back ever so slightly. And there we go. We're getting separation. Getting separation. Now, uh, you'll note that I've tried my absolute best to keep all of this down while I'm doing this. If you pull this off, you're going to lose a lot of material. Now, there's a few things that's worthy of note here. For instance, here, this is the pituitary gland in between these two nerves. So there's the pituitary gland. Underneath here are very delicate nerves uh, that may not even be connected at this stage. As careful as I've been, they may already be gone. So what we're going to do is I'm going to pull this back and we're going to look underneath here. We're going to see if we can see the nerves. Oh, there they are. See them coming down and, and connecting to the dura mater? If I just yank this off, they're gone. So you got to be very gentle and very careful. Take your scalpel. Pull it back. Again, you're learning how to work with your hands. Pull it back. Go in and cut them right at, right at the dura mater. Or, yeah, right at the dura mater. See right there? <laughs> it's hard to do this and record. So I'm going to pull that back very gently and go in and cut that little bitty flat nerve just like that. That way it stays connected to the brain and not to the dura mater. Now this is the infundibulum of the pituitary gland and unfortunately it has to go away. We have to cut that. So there it goes. And then there's another nerve way down in there right there we're going to go ahead and cut that so it stays connected to the brain all right now uh, the next ones that are kind of a pain 
are these. And it's, boy, it's a struggle. It's a real struggle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this back. I'm gonna gently tease it. Oh, it feels like they're already broke. Yeah. Those are already goners. Let's hope that the other side's in decent shape. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this as best I can, right there. Okay, one there, see this one? Right there, all right. And then we're gonna unwind this thing and hopefully leave something intact. See down in there? And there's one right here. Perfect, perfect. I think we got it. All right, now I can unwrap the brain completely and remove the Duramater. There it goes, minus the Duramater. Again, note this, on the Duramater, you still have the pituitary gland sitting right there. You can touch it and feel it. There is the infundibulum, the way that it connects to the brain, the way the pituitary connects is very small compared to the size of the pituitary gland itself. All of these little points of connection here, these are all nerves. There's a nerve, there's a nerve, there's a nerve, there's a nerve. They're everywhere. There's nerves all over the place. Now, on this brain, what should you know? All right, uh, you should know that this is the cerebrum. You should know that this is the cerebellum. And I can come in here and remove some of this ligamentation. Have, listen to it. See the arachnoid mater in there? That's all arachnoid mater. Pull this down, pull it down. Let's actually use the probe, and I'll come in and I'll remove the arachnoid mater with the probe. Look at that, I've never seen arachnoid mater that thick before. That's pretty fascinating. But there it is, look, separate brains, okay? There's the cere cerebellum that's gonna regulate your general motor activities, and here is your cerebrum that is your conscious thought processing. The point is they are totally separate. They are different brains, okay? They are different brains. Now I can come in here and I can show you what are called the corpora quadrigemina, one, two, three, four. You can see the little derivations between them. One, two, three, four, corpora quadrigemina. I can pull down on the corpora quadrigemina and inside of there, you can see the pineal gland. See it hanging down right there? That's the pineal gland. So the pituitary I'm sorry, the hypothalamus regulates your sleep and wake cycle, but the pineal gland releases the melatonin that drives your sleep and wake cycle, which is kind of neat. On the outside of the brain, what I want you to focus on here are the six major nerves. Um, uh, the six nerves off the brain that you need to know from the dissection are olfactory, optic, oculomotor, trochlear, trigeminal, abducens. They go like this. Olfactory bulbs, olfactory, optic, oculomotor. So this is smell, this is sight, this is like pupil regulation and, and eye muscle regulation to some degree, okay? Now factory optic oculomotor, look how flat, look how flat the oculomotor nerves are. They are indeed very flat, okay? Now factory optic oculomotor, turn it on its side, and we get the trochlear nerve coming out from around here at the uh, cerebellum trochlear this is a little bitty thread right there you can see it moving around there it is there it is there it is it's hard to get it with all this arachnoid mater but that's it right there let me see if i can show you here right there right there trochlear the trigeminal nerves is a real big one here this big lump like these are our trigeminal nerves sticking out of this all right so we had to cut those away but there it is trigeminal and then the abducens is right there. All right, you can see it right here. All right, see? Olfactory, optic, oculomotor, trochlear, see here? Trochlear, trigeminal, abducens. There they all are. All right, so that's the six nerves off the brain. You gotta be able to tell me that those are in fact the six nerves off the brain and you have to be able to uh, tell me sort of what they do, all right? And I believe we've established that you have to tell me if they are sensory, motor, or both. Uh, go to the lectures on this subject and you will see all of that. Now, what I'm gonna do 
is I'm gonna cut this thing down the middle and we're gonna look at the internal anatomy of the brain. All right, I looked for a big knife to use to do this, but unfortunately I don't have anything sitting around. I, I'm here in the lab today. So we're gonna try to do this with a scalpel. Ideally, uh, what I would use is a large kitchen knife and I would just come in here and I would cut this right down the middle, smack all the way through the whole thing so I can lay it out sideways so you can see the internal parts. But unfortunately, I don't have that. So here we go. We're just going to use the scalpel and hope for the best. Okay, that's a step. Well, tell you what, team, it isn't beautiful, and it isn't worthless. Yeah, that might be the better side. Again, you got to remember that this is dried up a little bit, so we just don't have everything that I'd really like to see. But what you can see, is so I can pull on this and open up open up this gap. So what you're doing is you're looking into a lateral ventricle inside of the uh, brain itself. There are open chambers. You've seen this. You can see that there is a gap here as well between this large structure. So from here to there, uh, this structure at the top, hang on, let's get this cleaned up a little. This structure here at the top, this thin band, that is the corpus callosum. It allows for the two sides of the brain to communicate with one another. And then below this, if you follow, if you follow the corpus callosum around, you end up at the fornix. This is the fornix. Inside of here is a lateral ventricle, and I can go in and I can grab up this material, this kind of goo here. That is the All right, this stuff here is a choroid plexus. That's what makes cerebrospinal fluid. So there it is, right there, inside of that lateral ventricle, an opening in the brain. So we've got the corpus callosum, the fornix. We can come down to the intermediate mass of the thalamus, which would be sort of here. It's kind of hard to see, but that's it, as best as we can do. That's the intermediate mass of the thalamus. Uh, and then the hypothalamus would sort of be this area down here near where the pituitary gland would be found, so right in here. We can follow this down to the pons. It's kind of hard to see because, again, this brain is so dry. You can almost make out this color variation here. This is the pons right there, okay? It normally is a larger lump than this. Let's see if the other side looks any better. No, not really. You can almost make out the pons as a bump right there. Okay, there's the pons, and then the medulla vongata down through here. All right, you can see the arbor vitae inside of the cerebellum. That is the tree of life, the arbor vitae. And um, I feel like that's about it. Okay, I believe that's got it. So with that in mind, do the dissection. Use this video to help guide you through and go into your canvas and pull the worksheet that pertains to the brain dissection. It will be titled uh, Biology 201, Anatomy and Physiology Brain Dissection Worksheet or something along those lines. And use that as you are doing the dissection to find the appropriate images to take and answer the appropriate questions. And uh, I'll give you between 10 and 15 points for your work, probably around 10. All right, so thank you very much. I hope this was of benefit for you. 
Again, feel the tissue, notice the textures, right? It's different, it's fascinating. I hope that yours are a little fresher than mine. Uh, this feels almost rubbery. In a real brain, it, it just falls to pieces, okay? It's very loose by comparison to this very dry brain. Uh, so I, I hope yours is better than mine. But this is how this is done, and uh, thank you very much. Have a good day. Thanks, guys. So I can go. Yeah. All right, six nerves of the brain, olfactory bulbs, olfactory, optic nerves, optic, oculomotor nerves. You take the brain, turn it on its side, you go trochlear, this tiny little thing there, see it? Trigeminal would be this bump right here. You can see a bigger one over here. Then abducens, these tiny little things there and there. See? Them? Factory, optic, oculomotor, trochlear, trigeminal, abducens. So far, so good? You're looking at this one, right? Give me a second. Next, let's do the internal structures. It'll go corpus callosum. Down to the fornix, over to the hypothalamus, up to the thalamus. See how round the thalamus is? Right? See how round it is? That'll come down to the pons, which is here, out the medulla oblongata, which is here. Then to the central canal, spinal cord. Well, just, we're just going to say spinal cord, okay, okay. which is here. You can also see the arbor vitae. Looks like a tree, right? Mm -hmm. Branches and everything else. It's the white matter, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. And also, if I kind of take this and pull it open, that is a lateral, lateral ventricle. And if I kind of dig in there and pull out, see this pink stuff? Mm -hmm. That is actually choroid plexus, what manufactures cerebrospinal fluid. Here, what I've done is I've taken the cerebellum, pulled it down. I can go in and pull down on the corpora quadrigemina. See one, two, three, four corpora quadrigemina, right? And then... As you pull down, you can kind of see that thing hanging down in there. See it? That thing hanging down is the pineal gland. So far, so good? All right. Excellent. Yeah.